Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a second look using the Norvina palette. So the first look I did, I used basically all the pinks. The second look, I still tiptoed into the pink. I did use Love to blow out the eye. What else did I use? I used Incense to kind of build up that crease. I used Passion to go on the outer V, outer C, potato, potato, whatever you call it, just go with it. Then I use the Celestial all over the lid. I use Dazzling on the inside of the lid. I use Volatile in this small little spot right there. I blew it out underneath with Passion and the Celestial. So that's kind of how, oh, and I use base up underneath my eyebrow bone to give it a little bit of kick and color. So I used a lot of colors today. A lot, a lot of colors. It doesn't, I mean, I think it looks pretty. It's a, a purpley, pretty color. I did um, use some black on the inner waterline, which was from Pretty Vulgar. I used their gel liner to kind of darken that up. And then I used a gel liner on top. I didn't do a wing. I just kind of blackened the eyelash line. I was going to put on false eyelashes. I think this look would look a lot better with false eyelashes. But then I just didn't want to mess with the glue and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I didn't do false eyelashes, although it would make this look look a lot better. So these are just my own little lashes. But I, you know, I am liking this Norvina palette. So I've, you know, I've complained about Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes before, so this isn't going to be a surprise. My front is already a hot mess, so you know you have to clean these little felt babies as you use them. So the first go round that I used with this, and really you can kind of use this tip on any of their palettes because they're so. They just kind of turn to powder really quick on your brush. So one of the tricks for you to use is when you go to dip in to the color of choice, tap it back into that color of choice. So you do your one eye and then all you have to do is barely pick up the fallout and use it on your other eye. That way your Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes last longer. The other thing that I did today, just trying something different, was I just kind of pushed my brush into the palette and then I kind of just used it that way. So it really didn't pick up, it didn't pull any fallout per se, but it did give me color by just kind of pressing on it, don't swirl it around. The moment you start swirling or moving this back and forth, you're going to get fallout. So then you have to use option number one, where once you get fallout, tap it back into that pan and you can use it. So, you know, now that I kind of have figured out how to use their palettes and not get totally irritated with the fact that it just has a ton of fallout, I feel a little bit better about purchasing it. I am kind of curious to see who comes up with a cheaper version of this. I want to say I paid $45 plus shipping direct from ABH because I was pretty stoked about the purples. I, For some reason, I love purples. I don't know why. I don't know why. This has been the year of purple for me. But yeah, so basically, um, I'm really looking forward to see who comes out with a dupe. Usually, Shop Hush always has uh, inexpensive dupes for around $16 and I want to say Ocalon and Bad Habit typically follow suit with some colors so we'll see how long it is before they put out a dupe palette and theirs doesn't have as much fallout as say the ABH does and it's a lot less expensive so we're going to see who rushes to the line to create the Norvina dupe but if you like purples and pinks, I would say this is a good palette for you. I'm, I'm not mad about it now that I know how to use all the fallout. <laughs> because you guys know it drives me crazy to have fallout. So anyways, I hope you liked this second look. 
And I think I want to try one more. I actually tried one the other day with just the the browns, etc. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't video it because that would have been a waste of time. Y'all, it was bad. I don't know what I did, but the look was just pathetic. So then I tried another look and... Oh, I used purples yesterday. This was funny. Not funny. I tried to do a halo with this color Soul because I thought, well, I'll just go with a more lighter look. And then I think I used either Dreamer or Summer on the inside. That wasn't a good look either. So, yeah, I've created two looks that I like and two looks that you'll never see because it was that bad. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'll stop talking. So if you want to see how I created this look using all those different colors, you're in the right spot. So here we okay, go. Okay, we got day two of using the Norvina palette. I'll try another look. Duh. Let's start out with the color. We'll go ahead and start with some love. Okay, next we're going to go in with incense. I'm going to take a bit of Dazzling. Kind of just on that inner, inner part of the lid. Not a ton. So then we're going to take the color Celestial. I'm going to pick back up the color Volatile. Then on the outer V, we're going to pick up the color Passion. I'm going to take the color base for underneath the eyebrow. We're going to use the Pretty Vulgar. We're going to pick back up the color Passion. Every time I hear the word passion, I always think of that song, I'm sexy and I know it, or you know it, I don't know. <laughs> then I'm going to take a little, a little brush, a wee brush, and we're going to grab some of that Celestial. Going in with this color Volatile, just pressing it right not going up like I did with the passion, but just kind of pressing it in that little corner. Okay, I hadn't put on lipstick because I really didn't know what I wanted to do, but I think I am going to go with some peachy tones or some nudes shock. And what I found is I really don't have a lot of peach that is a good, like, non, that doesn't come off lip. Drives me insane. Okay, we're going to use some Flitter from ColourPop. Where has that color been all my life? Okay, so I'm going to do my mascara off camera. I may do some false eyelashes today for fun. And I don't see any. But I am going to go ahead and set my eyes with the hangover three and one so I'm just gonna give that a moment so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look and we'll go from there thank you so much for watching today as I use the Norvina palette to create look number two hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always make it a great one